Welcome to Lee Dickey TV. Hit subscribe to follow along with the fun. Now let's get on to today's video. Cue the chime, dun dun. NBC is bringing back one of its most beloved shows. The original Law and Order is returning for a 21st season. I give you the details next. All right, so NBC is bringing back the original Law and Order. At least this article that I'm getting all this information from, TVLine.com, calls this show the mothership that launched a thousand spin-offs, which is probably not that far from the truth. But the original Law and Order is returning to NBC. It's from, of course, Dick Wolf and Rick Eade. Now, there's no word on when this sort of new revival 21st season uh, of Law and Order will air and it's there's no word on cast news in terms of who's returning or who might be coming in but of course like in the last season of the original Law and Order which was canceled in May of 2010 uh, after 20 years on NBC you had uh, Anthony Anderson, Jeremy Sisto, Esipate the Merkerson was still there, uh, Sam Waterston was still there, Linus Roach, and then uh, I think Alana De La Garza was there as well. Of course, Jeremy Sisto and Alana De La Garza are on another Dick Wolf show, FBI, which currently airs on CBS. So I don't see them coming back, but you could get them both to come in as for a recurring role. No word on how long this revival is going to last, or this sort of new season of the original Law & Order. Whether it's one season, or it's just a limited series. I'm assuming it's going to be at least one season, uh, given that most of the seasons of the, of the original Law & Order were at least full length of 20 to 24 episodes. Uh, but uh, I can't see Alana De La Garza or Jeremy Sisto coming back, because they're both on another dick wolf centric sh uh, centric show on on another network on cbs with fbi of course the original law and order ran from september of 1990 through may of 2010 tying gunsmoke for the longest running television drama at the time with 20 seasons but i don't even know this probably wouldn't count because it's been more than a decade since its original cancellation but with it coming back for a 21st season, it might. I don't know whether it will surpass Gunsmoke or not. But, you know, that's pretty much beside the point now. I'm, I'm happy that the original Law & Order is returning. I know that NBC was originally planning an all-Thursday Law & Order lineup. But they passed on the Law & Order for the Defense spinoff, which I did a few videos on. And I'll link all my Law & Order centric videos in the show notes and description for you all as well as in the cards if you're watching this on the Lee Dickey TV YouTube channel. Like I said there's no word on who's coming back in terms of the cast veterans whether it's es whether Esipate the Merkerson comes in I know that or comes back I know that she was there from I think season four through 20 then you had Fred Dalton Thompson which I don't see him coming back of course you can't have Stephen Hill back or Jerry Orbach or even Dennis Farina because they've all passed away. But, I mean, those were great. I, I mean, I'd love to see, say, like, Chris Noth come back, even if it's in a recurring role. Even Benjamin Bratt coming back as the Ray Curtis character to uh, sort of, you know, take over, say, the squad room and be, like, this sort of senior detective now. That would, for me, that would be great right again maybe Chris Noth could come back in the Mike Logan role but uh, of course you know in the last season of the original Law and Order you had Jeremy Sisto, Elena De La Garza and I've already explained that I don't think they're coming in to the Law and Order revival because they're already on another Dick Wolf show FBI on CBS but you could get Anthony Anderson to come in I mean he's on is or then again he has Blackish and all of its spinoffs but I think he did a few episodes of uh, SVU, and then I think that's what got him the gig with um, the original Law and Order in its latter years. But uh, I just I don't know who's going to come back. Of course, you had Sam Waterston there. I think he came in in season three or four, and then was there to the end. He started out as the ADA, and then eventually 
worked his way up. He eventually worked his way up to being the full-time uh, DA, right, when Linus Roach came in. And I think he was Michael Cutter in the latter seasons of the show. So, to me, I think it makes sense to, you know, you have Sam Waterston come back or somebody say, like, Esipate and Murkerson. I'd love to see all these returning veterans. I think you had, was it Carrie Lowell that took over after um, Jill Hennessy departed the show in the uh, sort of ADA role or in the assist? Yeah, she was one of the sort of like that junior ADA. Or maybe can we get Diane Neal to come in? I know that she was centered around like Law and Order SVU. But can we get Diane Neal to come in as the Casey Novak character? For me, that would be cool to see her come back to the Law & Order sort of fold, right? Because I know that she hasn't done much in the way of acting since uh, her stint on NCIS and uh, NCIS New Orleans. And that, I think, was it the Agent Breslin role that was a recurring uh, stint on both shows? But I don't know. I just You're going to... According to this article from TVLine.com, NBC is high on it. Again, like I said, they were planning to have Law & Order for the defense, you know, round out that all-Thursday Law & Order lineup. It just didn't pan out. But it looks like they are bringing back the original Law & Order. And, you know, no word on who's coming in in terms of, say, new cast members or who's returning. Maybe Elizabeth Rome could come in. I don't know. You could get Elizabeth Rome to come back. I mean, I think that would be cool, too. I mean, I'm just trying to think, like, how many Law & Order cast members there were. Maybe Michaela McManus could come back. And in terms of, like, the other detectives, I don't know whether you can get John Munch to come in. Uh, I mean, Richard Belzer, right? Or if you could get, say, again, like I said, um, Chris Noth or... Benjamin Bratt to come back. It's just there were so many cast changes And it's unfortunate that a few of the cast members have passed away. Like I said, you had uh, Dennis Farina, Jerry Orbach and um, Stephen Hill and if I'm missing anybody somebody let me know but It's just there's a lot of people you could pick from Esa Faitha Merkerson uh, Sam Waterston. I'm hoping those two come back, but I am happy that uh, the original Law & Order is returning to NBC granted if it's for one season or if this lasts longer that would be nice apparently uh, there have been flirtations with wanting to bring back the original Law & Order since 2015 but those plans fell apart and of course they had there was a Law & Order sort of true crimes you know based on real events uh, sort of limited series that focused on like the Melendez crimes a few years back but I think it was only meant to be a limited series and then after it finished that was it but law and order has always been a centric like a central part to nbc and like entertainment in the past 30 plus years and i am happy to see it coming back of course you've got all the spin-offs organized crime svu of course not everything in the law and order universe or law and order lore ever has ever worked of course law and order los angeles or la lasted one season and I will tell you that Law & Order does not work if it's set in Los Angeles. I think it's only it only works if it's set in New York City and I've done videos on that of course it's in, listed and linked in the cards and description for you all but you had Law & Order LA trial by jury which didn't work I think because Jerry Orbach unfortunately passed away and for the defense basically fell apart and like I said this article states that from tvline.com that uh, NBC and Wolf Entertainment have been sort of flirting with the idea of bringing the original Law & Order back since 2015 and those original plans fell apart but here we are six years later and it looks like it's coming back and for this time whether it's one season or multiple I'm happy to see it return to NBC I've always been a big fan of Law & Order all its spin-offs and all of its characters so to see the original Law & Order return, I am super, super happy. How do they handle it uh, going into this 21st season revival? No word on whether it's going to be a uh, sort of a mid-season thing or a pickup for 
fall, maybe next year or the year after that, who knows. But uh, it's just, it's up in the air right now. All that is out there is that NBC and Wolf Films, or Wolf Entertainment rather, have agreed to sort of bring back the original Law & Order because they've always wanted to do it. And I am happy as a fan, and I'm sure millions of other people are, but I will list and link this article that I'm getting all this information from uh, from tvline.com down in the show notes and description for you all so you can check it all out for yourselves but this wraps up another video thanks for watching i've been lee dickey please hit that subscribe button and we will talk to you later all right lee dickey signing off peace thanks for tuning in to lee dickey tv new episodes are available every monday wednesday and friday subscribe to follow along with the fun